Hello, hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the EWA channel, it's your boy Axel once again, and today we're jumping straight into a beautiful, beautiful matchup between Luxus and Sauron once again. I think this matchup is one of your guys' favorite. Uh, <coughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're going to have a Man of the West uh, for Sauron. Uh, Sarn is going to start with two farms uh, with his builders and uh, straight in, uh, sending his uh, builders uh, to the edges of his base and uh, building, I believe, more farms. Luxus is going to be spawning as a uh, Mordor, uh, of course, and he's starting with two slaughterhouses as well as two orc pits. Uh, and yeah, right before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. I'm working really, really hard right now. Uh, on uh, bringing you guys uh, those videos and if you guys can uh, drop the sub uh, I would I would highly highly appreciate it uh, It would mean the world to me. We are on the chase to 1k. So if you guys help me out uh, If you guys can help me out that would be beautiful So yeah, we'll jump straight into it um, Did I want to say anything else? Mm, not really not really just love you guys. You guys are awesome. Saren <laughs> uh, <laughs> is going to start uh, very quickly with his uh, stable and uh, the archer range, actually, which is uh, very, very interesting. Uh, very smart as well. I think the archers for the orcs and uh, the cavalry for the offense will be very good. Um, Luxus already knows that Sauron... Um, actually is a man of the west because Sarn I think yeah used the, the human wood on uh, the mortal fortress so beautiful beautiful start uh, we'll uh, jump uh, straight into the game itself very quickly uh, a lot of action is going to go on right now simply because a Mordor is uh, forcing you to um, be very, very aggressive. Otherwise, you can't really defend with the Mordor. Because um, um, your units are really, really weak indeed. And uh, yeah, Men of the West have a nice uh, ways to camp. Of course, those uh, towers, those uh, archers, the cavalry uh, makes it really, really easy. But Mordor can be devastating on the offense. Um, Lexus is putting on his, his orcs on a defensive stance while he's attacking. And we already talked about it. Defensive stance is really, really important. You can just see the difference right here. One trample um, on those orcs. Took down uh, a full battalion. and Because uh, they weren't on defensive stance. Those orcs that were on defensive stance almost survived uh, with full uh, half of uh, the health. Uh, we're going to have the Haradrim Palace for um, Luxus very quickly. Uh, he saw the cavalry coming, so he needs a way to counter it. So he is going for um, the Haradrim Palace. Um, Starn is going to go for the barracks. Uh, and that's a good way to actually counter the Haradrim. Uh, yeah, the cavalry doesn't want to go for uh, heavy structures with a lot around it. Um... We're going to have a lot of infantry right here as well uh, for the model player Luxus. A second battalion of uh, Gondor Knights is going to go out of the stable right now. And uh, we're going to have those archers trying to clean up all those orcs. But I think unfortunately this farm will go down with the help of uh, those uh, orcs right here. Unless we're going to have those Gondor Knights coming to help. Uh... And it does look like it. Let's see. Oh, no. This farm will go. No way, bro. No way. He just saved this farm. Beautiful stuff from Sauron. This is why he's one of the best. Uh, two power points right now for Sauron. Luxus is standing on two power points as well. But you can see for yourself. Sauron is a bit higher uh, power points wise. Uh, command points wise. Uh, Luxus is sitting on 500. And Sauron is sitting on 450. Uh, that's a wrong thing to do right there. You don't want to camp too much, I think, uh, with Mordor. That's my, just my personal opinion. Those guys are the pros. So, it's better if you listen to them. 
Um, maybe he's trying to gather, maybe Lyxis is trying to gather a nice force to go and attack the base of Sauron. Uh, but I don't think uh, camping with uh, Mordor is a good idea. Not camping, kind of like uh, being passive. Uh, but we're going to have uh, the Nazgul uh, coming in for uh, the Mordor player Lyxis. Uh, and yeah, Nazgul is going to be very effective against uh, those Gondor soldiers indeed. <laughs> Look at those Gondor knights, they're just running in slow motions, they're really in slow motion, they're really trapped in those orcs. And dude, usually they're just running away, it's, it is very weird. What? They're not taking any damage, that's the weirdest thing I saw ever. Usually they're supposed to run away, but I guess not. Oh yeah, they are released right now. Uh, Gondor Knights are going to do an absolutely phenomenal job against those guys. Uh, but they do need to be careful around the Nazgul, because the Nazgul, I think, can one-shot one those Gondor Knights, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he's going to grab a lot of experience. There you go. The you can see for yourself. Oh my god, from one Gondor Knight, he almost got himself half of a level. So yeah, need to be careful around with uh, the Nazgul. Uh, with the Gondor Knights around the Nazgul, sorry. Um, Sauron is building himself a nice force. Uh, we are going to have some Gondor uh, Tower Guards as well. Uh, as those um, Gondor Knights are getting themselves more levels. Uh, indeed. Sauron need to go for another push and uh, stop this uh, orc spam potentially go for some uh, slaughterhouses right here uh, maybe even some uh, Athelian rangers uh, fire arrows usually is pretty good against Mordor but we'll see how the game is uh, going to roll you can't really tell at the start of the game uh, we're going to have six power points we have six power points right now for the man of the west player Sauron uh, 550 command points Lexus is sitting on 650 command points. Um, and uh, a lot more power points, actually. Not a lot, but more power points. Um. <clears throat> Sauron is continuing with his pressure. Managed to save himself one single unit of uh, uh, Gondor Knights right there as well. I will see how this one is going to go. Um, another nice little push from uh, Luxus uh, right there from the bottom side of the map. From top to bottom. Uh, we're going to have the second, I believe, Nazgul on the field for uh, Luxus as well. And, oh, this one, this Nazgul needs to be careful. No, no, Sauron. Oh, Sauron could have just killed this guy right there with those pikes. But I guess he wasn't able to see what's going on the Gondor Knights uh, are right here as well and they're going to take care of this uh, Orc Battalion we have a uh, domination uh, we have a fight right here in uh, the bottom left side of the map which uh, Mordor is going to take we have the Hobbit Salmon right now for Sauron and the Industry Farm is right here that's the 10th uh, power point for um, Luxus, uh, Sam, either Pippin or Sam is going to use the firecracker uh, and uh, take down the um, Haradrim uh, palace right there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff indeed. And Mortal Player Luxus is going to come from every direction right now. And uh, Ron looks like he's a bit on the back foot. But yes, we are going to have Aragorn, the king of Gondor, on the field. And Aragorn is going to be very, very good against those trolls and everything, in, uh, everything like that. The Nazgûls cannot get around him. You can just wreck them. Yeah, of course, Argon with the splash damage. You need to be very, very careful around him. 
Uh, five power points for Sauron. Four power points for Lixus. Both of those guys picked their 10th power points as well. So, yes, indeed. Uh, we're going to have those uh, Gondor knights around roaming and uh, trying to take down some uh, buildings as well. Uh, and yeah, most of this stuff in the bottom left side is going to be cleaned up by Sauron right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, Argon is going to chase off some orcs as well as some Istalings. Um, the Nazgul's <laughs> became pretty useless when Argon is around. Become really useless when Argon is around. Uh, those trolls will do actually a very nice job on those Gondor Knights uh, right here. I think a running call has been thrown down as well on them. Yes, indeed. Managing to take down a slaughterhouse. Look at this force, this uh, model force. But Argon, it, 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 Argon is a one-man army. So, I don't know if that will help too much. Uh, once again, the knights need to be careful around... Uh, needs to be careful around the Nazgul right there. Uh... Aragorn, let's see. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Aragorn can use his Blade Master. Of course, you have the Thalas ability. And uh, it does look like Sauron is looking for a nice clump for Aragorn. Uh, and a Thalas has been used. We do have those archers, and uh, the Blade Master is going to be used as well. A uh, hill, yeah. Does he have a hill? No, he's not. Uh, Sauron doesn't have uh, the five power point yet, so he cannot choose the hill. But it is really, really close to it. The Blade Master with uh, Argon is going to be very, very effective as well. Um, let's see. Oh my god, we are going to have a fell beast on the field as well for the model player. Argorn is really, really low on health right now and is trying to run away from the fell beast. But unfortunately, it does look like the fell beast can chase him down. A hill will be uh, available for uh, Sauron. But I don't know if he'll be able to use it. Let's see. Yes, there you go. He does use it. Uh, fell beast can still chase after him. And Nasco is only level 4, so the Mogul Blade is out of the question as well. And uh, there you go. We do have some Athelian, Athelian Rangers uh, <coughs> for uh, Sauron. A good versus evil Mordor versus uh, <coughs> Gondor. And Rangers are right here. They can deal with those uh, Easterlings pretty... Oh my god, look at the damage. They're just taking them down, and that's a lot of power points as well. You can just see for yourself. Uh, where is Argon? Did Argon went down? Can't seem to find him. There he is. Still alive. All good and well. But yeah, the Rangers are going to be very effective against, of course, uh, the Fell Beasts and uh, such. Let's see. Sauron is going to have. Um, to play a bit defensive for now. Uh, we're going to have Aragorn oh, trying to take down the Nazgul. But this Nazgul will be able to run away. Of course, Aragorn is a bit a bit slow. Um, but that's, that's all fun. Fine. Uh, for now. We do have a massive, massive uh, Mordor army. And the Blade Master is going to be used. Let's see how effective this one is going to be. Oh my god, look at all those uh, Rangers. Oh, we are going to have the Barrage available. Tarn is pressing on the Axe Key. And I don't know, but he managed to save. Just kidding. Didn't manage to save a lot right there. Argon is in a bit of a sticky situation right now. 
does have himself the um, Blade Master, of course. But the Nazgul is uh, chasing him. And uh, yeah, Argon needs to turn around and start hitting the uh, Nazgul. Nazgul will go down indeed. And uh, Felbeast is going to be forced to run away as well. Argon, once again, is in really low health, but Sauron is playing very, very nice with him. <coughs> Athedon can move around with uh, those um, Gondor Knights as well. That's going to need to be careful. You don't want to run into bikes. You don't want to do it. Oh, but I think another Nazgul will go down is in a bit, yeah, a bit of a, sh of a sticky situation. It was till he died, brutally. Um, power points wise, uh, Lixus does have himself the barrage as well as the industry and the tainted land. Six power points to spare. Uh, Sauron. Does have himself the Hobbit Summon, Human Wood, Rallying Call, as well as Heal. Five power points to spare. 850 command points for Sauron. And uh, 1000 command points to full command points that uh, Luxus can have. <coughs> Interesting match so far. We do have the Mouth of Sauron as well as uh, two Nazgul's. We have the Hobbit Summon with the copyrighted music. Oh my god, the industry is going to go, the industry farm is going to go down, the ring is lost, that's what uh, Frodo was saying, did it go down that quickly? That's an interesting, interesting thing, uh, a level 3 farm and an industry one is going to go down, and that's not going to be good for Luxus, not at all, and uh, there you go, you can see on the power points yourself, um, Argon can actually, Argon, uh, Sauron can actually go for a nice little push right now, and we'll see if he's going to do it. Uh, two Ithilian Rangers with two Tower Guards is really, really good uh, force with uh, the combination of Argon and some cavalry around. Very, very strong indeed. All those nice ghouls charging straight in uh, to the middle uh, map, to the middle of the map. <coughs> And they are on attack move because they moved at the same pace. Uh, Forge Blades upgrade for, uh, uh, has been purchased for uh, Luxus right now. I don't know how Mouth of Sun is going to be effective against a uh, man, what you want to do with him exactly. Uh, so I'll be interested to see that. Um, he's a very, very tanky hero. And I never really used him in uh, patch 1.09 version 2, to be honest. Do know that I love him in patch 1.0. We have tons of rangers around, and uh, this little bottle right here as well. Uh, the pikes right here. <laughs> uh, the stable. Stable. The Gondor Knights right here just charge straight into Pikes and Felbees. Need to be careful, but he's going to use the Screech ability on top of those archers. Uh, Aragorn is around on really low health, though. The Blade Master is being used, uh, but Mouth of Sun, Mouth of Sun is in really low health, so I'm guessing two more hits on him. It will go down, maybe even one. Alexis doesn't even notice that uh, the Mouth of Sun is right here, but. Yeah, I think anyway he's going to go down. There you go. He went down. Now we're going to have the running call on top of those rangers. But I don't think, yeah, that Luxus wants to commit to that fight exactly. Um, and yeah, that's the time for a push. All three of the Nazgul's are here. And look at that. The rangers are going to put in the work right now. 15 power points for... Uh, Sauron, 13 power points after picking the barrage already for, uh, Ooh. for, uh, Luxus. And we're going to have the Dinadane summon on top of the Nazgul. Let's see if they'll be able to take him down. No, I don't think. He's too tanky. He is too, too tanky. Oh! Oh! 
Never mind. He is not. I didn't see why. Oh my god. That was weird. I didn't think they can actually take him down. But they did. Don't listen to me ever, please. Elendil is being used to try and save Argorn. I thought I heard some Muma kills. Maybe not. But 15 power points for Sauron. 15 power points for Sauron is not a good sign. 17 actually for uh, Luxus. So I'm guessing he's going to reach his uh, 25 point power faster. Um, but yeah. Um, Sauron is going for a push with mainly archers. Uh, loaned archers. They are on timer. We're going to have another barracks. We have, we do have the marketplace as well, uh, right here. Argon with a battalion of uh, swordsmen. And look at the base of uh, Luxus right now. Oh my God, uh, this is absolutely mad, lads. Base 18 power points right now for Luxus. Town is sitting on six. After picking the Dinadane, of course, the 25-point power of Men of the West, I think, is one of the strongest. The Earthquake is absolutely beautiful. Or the Army of the Dead. I mean, some faction does have the Earthquake. You have the Earthquake, but... Uh, you can just choose between absolutely two crazy, crazy 25-point powers. Uh, of course, level 10... Uh, Argon can reach the uh, Oathbreakers, which is a mini Army of the Dead. Of course, is a very strong power as well. Uh, Crosshairs are really, really strong with the Forge Blades upgrade, and Argon is going to use the Blade Master. I don't think he can save him right now, but we'll see about that. A hill has been thrown down. Oh, he's actually going close to those sort of. Um is it? Forge Blades, a uh, Blades Master, I don't know what I'm talking about. I am really, really tired, so sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, Alan Dill is going to be used once again. 22 power points for Luxus right now. And uh, 12 power points for Sauron. 23 power points. And the Mordor, look at the Mordor forces. It's absolutely, they're absolutely crazy. Three battalions of rangers are here. Two pikes battalion as well. Then he's going to use his king's favor ability. Oh my god. Uh, we have... Oh, they just couldn't do it. But we have tons of rangers around. And uh, the Corsairs needs to be careful. Uh, Felbeast is coming straight in once again. I don't think that's the right idea. Oh, yes, and he's going to go down. He's not that tanky. 25-point power is going to be available very soon as well. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Look at that. Argon is level 7. And... Yes, indeed. Sauron is pressing on the X button. Uh, we're going to have an attack troll around. And the Balrog is going to do an amazing job in Sauron's base right now. Uh, pretty good job, actually, from Sauron. Uh, preventing... Um, Alexis using the Balrog on top of his army. Uh, preventing... Kind of dodging the uh, Balrog summon. 17 power points right now for Sauron himself. And... Uh, 900 command points, 1,000 command points, but look at the units right here from Luxus right now. Doesn't have anything. He's going to have, he can create a massive force very quickly, but he needs to do it quick to follow up with the, the Balrog. Argon is still around, I'm still in shock that um, Sauron managed to save Argon so many times. I return to serve the master. That's, um, that is Moth of Sauron right there. <clears throat> and yeah, the Balrog is cleaning up the Sauron's base. Uh, something that you will already expect. 
uh, once those guys are using the Balrog. We do have the Hobbit Salmon once again. Uh, the Human Wood has been used, but the Tainted Land is going to be used on top of that. I think the Cloud Break has been used as well uh, for some reason. I don't know why those trolls are not turning into stones. Uh, maybe though, because they are attack trolls. And yeah, the copyrighted music come on now of the Cloud Break. Jesus, I need to talk over it. So <laughs> so loud. I feel like a dumbass. Oh, that's not a Cloud Break. What am I talking about, guys? What am I talking about? That's the beautiful, beautiful Gandalf. Oh my god, I'm so rusty. And tired that I can't even um, <clears throat> see the difference between Gandalf and a Cloud Rake. That's why the trolls didn't turn into stone. A Mouth of Sound is charging straight into Pikes, which is unfortunate. Oh my god, we're going to have Jesus the barrage on top of those units. Oh my god, a hill has been thrown down to try to save some of them. And Argon is in full health right now. And uh, yeah, some stuff survived. We're going to have some uh, Orc Laborers. A Gandalf Wizard Blast has been used as well. Ellen Deal is going to be used. And I think this Nazgul will go down if Luxus is not careful. Yes, indeed. Uh, second one will go down. That's a going to be very good for Sauron, but I think he's choosing to retreat from this battle. Oh my god, an earthquake has been used on top of Argorn. Oh, just here. Yeah, earthquake doesn't do anything. I would really rather Sauron to use it right here. I don't know why he chose to do it there. Chose. Oh, and Gandalf is going to take down another goal. Oh, beautiful. With the, the lightning sword of uh, Gandalf. Sauron is using it pretty good right there as well. We have a, a big, big force for Luxus right now. Uh, Aragorn needs to build himself an army as well. Uh, Sauron needs to build himself an army as well. Oh. I'm getting tired. I've been working all week, guys. Sorry for the mistakes. If I have some. And yeah. Tower guards are going to take down the troll there, which I'm surprised they didn't do the whole game. Uh, Argon at level 9. We're going to have Gandalf on his shadow fax. And uh, a nice force from uh, Mordur right there. Gandalf is going to use his wizard blast from the back and taking down a battalion, a full battalion of uh, uh, Corsairs. Trolls are n not really a massive threat to Men of the West, to be honest with you guys. Simply because Men of the West have tons and tons of heroes. And heroes are the perfect counter for uh, trolls. I'm going to have some upgrades, I'm wondering, from uh, Sauron. Uh, not really sure. Don't see signs of uh, upgrades yet. That's a strong force. That's... A very very nice force that Sauron have at the moment and uh, Gandalf can use his wizard blast very soon as well uh, the Rangers can pick up those guys from far and uh, Nazgul need to be careful are we going to see it on oh, lightning sword just not available Then he's going to chase off some Corsairs. They're pretty tanky Corsairs. Level 3, of course, as well. Thirteen power points right now for Lexus. Nine power points for Sarn. Sarn is closing the gap slowly but surely. 
command points wise. Both of those guys have uh, the 25 point power. Gandalf is grabbing levels and levels. Sauron, uh, Sauron's uh, Aragorn is grabbing uh, the levels. He's pretty close to getting his uh, Oathbreaker's ability. If we are going to see it, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, this troll is as good as gone one once Argon is going to take some shots on him. Yes, Gandalf is right here as well. He's going to use the Wizard Blast and take care of all of those guys. Argon is at level 9 and is going to take down this Nazgul right here. 9.5 right now for um, Argon. Oh, Tom Bombadil is being used as well. And all those archers are going to go down. Gandalf needs to be careful. Are we going to have a hill being thrown down? Let's see. Yes, a hill has been thrown down. Gandalf is using his uh, shield uh, bubble. He can actually trample while using the shield, which is pretty interesting. Indeed. Oh, the Dunedain Salmon is going to be available as well. There you go. And this is going to save Argorn right here. Argorn and Gandalf can push meanwhile. And Lixus looks like Lixus. It's actually... Oh my god, they are playing with Gollum. Uh, looks like... Does look like uh, Lixus is in a bit of trouble right now. Still does have himself uh, the full uh, command points that he needs. The worm is going to be available for uh, defense uh, slash offense for uh, Luxus. And I do want to see when he's going to use it. <clears throat> Dioden and Argorn. Trying to take down a slaughterhouse. Oh my god, and that's a nice force as well. I'm um, surprised we didn't see a Witch King on the field. Uh, 16 power points are available for a Sauron. And the worm, of course, hasn't been used yet. I'm going to have... Oh my god, we can potentially have the Rohirrim summon with the Glorious Charge, which can be devastating. Indeed. Uh, Willy Sauron didn't play with any Rohirrim this time around. But it looks pretty good for him right now. Gandalf is right here as well. Unfortunately, only at level 6. At level 10, he can have the most beautiful power in the game. Uh, the wizard... the uh, Not the wizard blast. The word of power. Another builder will go down. Gandalf is going to grab himself the level 6 pretty soon. There you go. The level 6, a glorious charge has been used. And uh, what exactly the glorious charge is doing? 99% armor. Plus 25% damage. Beautiful stuff. And yeah, the, you can see for yourself. Argon with the Glorious Charge. Oh my god, that's a level 10 Argon if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And now he's really a one-man army. There you are. Oathbreaker is going to be... Uh, Oathbreaker is going to be available. Oh yeah. There they are. And all those archers are going to go down. I think that's a lot of power points as well. We're going to have a big one available. Oh, I don't know if we're going to have a big one available, to be honest. Uh, not really sure what the Dunedain allies gives you. Definitely the table has been turned. The worm won't be a game changer, to be honest. And uh, we're going to have upgrades for Sauron very quickly. Right now, a builder will go down. Luxus is losing everything. 
And he is losing momentum as well. Let's look at the power point, the command points real quick. Oh my god, he somehow still have 1,000. How is that possible? Oh, the Hobbit Salmon. Oh, he does have a lot of uh, level 3 farms, to be honest with you guys. And that's the Hobbit Salmon right here. And I'm guessing Lixus is going to lose some of his command points right now. But we'll see. Yeah, the worm is going to be very good for him. Uh, trying to save this level 3 farm uh, right there. 14 power points. Yes, the cloud break is going to be available. 15 power points. 16 power points. What is happening right now? Gandalf is happening right now. Oh my god. What a catch. Sauron, you absolute mad lad. Or won't be super effective against those guys. Didn't just, they just can't run away. And yeah, he'll stop. You'll stop. Yeah, forward healing well. Going to be very useful. Uh, Son does have himself the um, uh, house of healing on his fortress as well. Roto is right here. Where is Pippin, bro? Come on. Sam is right here as well. And uh, the push will go on. Uh, that's the warm and it's going to fade way right now there it is and the cloud break is going to be available Gandalf at level seven and a half on his uh, shadow facts look at all those units right here oh my god this is absolutely crazy um, don't know really what can, uh, help Sauron breach this little defense. We are going to have the cloud break right now, I believe. There you are. We're going to have a... Oh, nice arrow volley right there. Going to get rid of all of those Corsairs. They have no choice but to take it, uh, take the damage. And uh, yeah, a level 3 slaughterhouse will go down right there. That's 100 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 125 going down. Alexis. Argon is tanking the arrow damage right here. He's on defensive stance right now. The Balrog is going to be available very soon as well. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that was a nice, nice shot from Gandalf. Actually. And uh, let's see how Alexis is going to use, uh, how the Balrog is going to be used. Yes, just as I guess, uh, it's going to be used defensively. Not sure if, hmm, I mean, probably doesn't have a choice, does he? Um, unfortunately, the Lightning Sword is not going to be available for Gandalf. Uh, so I cannot say just like the movies. But the Balrog saved the base of uh, Luxus for now. Ooh, oh my god. The Fire Whip is uh, pretty good. I think that's the first time. Oh, Zarn is playing very, very smart. He's dodging the Balrog. He's changing direction everywhere. Uh, the fire whip is available, and Luxus doesn't want to uh, waste any time with this Balrog. He's going to charge straight into the base of Sauron. He doesn't have any command points, uh, any soldiers on the field. In the meantime, Sauron has 700, 700 soldiers. Uh, I mean, command points being used. Yeah, the Balrog won't be such a threat right now. Well, we are going to have the uh, Rohirrim ally summon. And it's going to be used right here. Uh, on top of this level 3 farm. And I want to see how much um, the command points of Lixus are going to go down. Pretty much. Quick enough. Yeah, all of his production buildings will go down as well. 
Gandalf is right here at level 7. We do have Aragorn at level 10. And Luxus is going to call it a GG. What a beautiful, beautiful matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. Help us hit 1,000 subscribers. And every sub is a motivation for me to continue give you those casts. So yeah, drop a sub, leave a like on the video. It's been your boy Axel. Stay safe, stay young, and peace.